peace and love. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more fun with art. Peace and love, creatives. It's sketchbox time. And first thing we're going to do is look at the art by Ian Kaorian Arts. And there it is. So pretty. It looks like they used the uh, Genzai um, Tambi paints, the graphite ones. That's what it looks like. I wonder. They did so good. It looks so good. All right, let's get into the box. Okay, here we go. No. There we go. All right, I'm going to move it off to the side and we're going to see what we got. Ooh. All right. Okay. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Okay, first thing I take out is this. And I have a feeling I'm not going to like this box. Uh, next thing I take out is a toned sketch paper. And it says sand. Tape on my finger. It's pretty thin, rough texture. It is in a different language. Oh, here we go. Drawing paper ideal for dry techniques. And it is Fabriano, made from Fabriano paper, which I do like. So excited. We have the card with the information. Oh, we have the art. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks really good. And the art is by Orion Mabel. Mabel. And um, there's his information. This is. Ba -bum. So that's nice. We can put it right over those. You don't want to see those. <laughs> Okay, next thing we have is art sticks. I don't know what this is. Ooh, and a Windsor and Newton um, sketching set. And, oh. What? Oh my God. I don't know what this is. It says Sanjuine powder. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And there's the sticker. And I think that's it. Okay, let's find out what this is all about because I am very confused. All right, we'll start with the Create a Color art sticks because I'm curious. All right, these are, it says, burnt and dry sanguine. While the burnt sanguine stick in this set will offer darker value and finer detail, the XL dry stick is perfect for larger areas and gestures. It retails for $5.99. Okay, so now if we have that, what are we doing with this? Let's see. This is Create a Color Sanjuan Powder. Use this Sketchbox exclusive powder to tone areas. Try using the eraser in your set to pick out details and highlights. Retail price $14.99. Oh my god. Okay, and then uh, the Soft Knife and covers perfect for creating soft transitions and blending values. Use this in combination with the Sanjuin powder in this month's box. Swap the knives, knife covers when blending different areas <clears throat> of color for clean values. Retail price for 35. And then you have the Fabriano paper, which is toned paper, ideal for dry media its medium tone offers a striking contrast to the white charcoal and the sanguine items in this month's box the windsor and newton studio collection sketching set 
includes a wide range of materials to help you get your creativity flowing. Use the graphite pencils to sketch out your concept and the charcoal materials in combination with the Sanjuin supplies in this month's box. The blending stump in the set is perfect for small areas and sharp details, and this retails for $18.06. All right, so let's get into the Windsor & Newton pack. A lot of plastic. Not necessary. I don't know if I'm going to open this eraser. I have one. I don't need to open that one, I don't think, anyway. All right, let's test out the materials that we have in front of us. First, let's just test out the pencils because everything else scares me. Okay, first we have medium charcoal. And then we have hard charcoal. They felt, they feel the same going down, but this one is definitely lighter and this one's darker. All right, we have sepia. Ooh, okay. And then white charcoal. And that's how they got all of those um, highlights and tones and you know okay and then we have pencils this is an 8b she smooth and a 6b and a 2b or not to be and we also get a sharpener in this and eraser and a blending, uh, I think this is a tortillion, right? Okay, so let's try to blend some stuff here. Let's see how it works. And I'm just gonna turn it around so that I'm not picking up um, this color onto that color. Okay, and I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use this one for the sepia. And I'm going to turn it slightly and I'm going to use that part for the white. And now I'm curious if this will do anything to the pencils okay got some movement on the 8b let's see how we got oh. trying to clean off the the white um, oh you know what I have a bit of sanding papers Seen enough of these uh, being used to know that we can sand it down a little and get the color off of the stick like that. All right, let's see what we got. Okay, that moves. Not much, but it moves. And then the two smudges a little bit. Okay, now the thing that I'm scared of. Okay, let's open this one first. Okay, so the create a color art sticks okay this is the thin one okay and then this is the thick one to get like bigger sections
I have no idea what I'm doing. None whatsoever. All right, let's open this up. And I like that it comes in like a little protective covering for the little guys, because then I can get rid of the rest of the packaging and just hold on to this. That's nice. All right, so now we're gonna get this in here. And I haven't looked up the videos yet, so we'll see if I decide to just not. Okay, I'm gonna... That's so pretty. Okay, so what do we do with this? I'm curious. If we have this and it gets so powdery the way it is, what's the point of this? Okay, so you guys saw how I did that, right? I just kind of like, the tab was here, pulled around, I lifted it, and I just pulled it off and it came off rather quickly. I'm gonna open this carefully and I think I'm gonna use the powder that's on the cap for this portion okay so I got a whole bunch there oh that goes on okay okay All right, this one might be a quick one. I'm going to see if I can use some kind of reference. And okay, and a quick one it is. Um, I have a really hard time with charcoals and pastels. It's been like that since the beginning. They frighten me in every way possible. I feel like I've grown though. <laughs> Regardless of how the piece looks, I feel like I have definitely grown because a couple of years ago, I probably wouldn't have even done this much. I like the direction in which I took the reference photo that I was looking at, but um, there are definitely areas where I need to work on. Uh, just so that you know that white charcoal uh, pencil it works best if you know where you're going to put your highlights instead of putting them in at the end. And I say this because it goes on nice and smooth with the um, the Sinjuan powder, but it does not go on nice and smooth with the other things. It, it's a lot harder to work with with the other pencils. So it's something to keep in mind when you're doing your art. Um, I really was impressed where I got to with this piece. I know it's not amazing, but I'm really proud of myself for getting this far. Let's not sugarcoat anything. I was absolutely frustrated with this piece, but I pushed through and I got out of my comfort zone and I think I did a really good job. I ended up using the white gel pen to do the highlight I wanted to do with the white pencil because it was not going on the graphite at all. So. I had to do that and uh, that's it this is my finished piece thank you for watching peace and love the powder is actually pronounced sanguine peace and love <laughs>